Hi. Today it's uh, Tuesday, July 28, 2014. <clears throat> um, we're right now we're headed out. We're in Burniston right now, but heading into Vermont hiking. And we're headed out to the Guilford Southeast Corner Marker, Boundary Marker. There's a couple caches on the way, and we just cached one down there at the gate right there. I don't know if you can see the gate, but and that's where we're parked. But the southeast corner, as the crow flies on my GPS, so of course it's longer walking, is 1.3 miles one way. So we've got quite a hike ahead of us. And I think some of it's bushwhacking, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure though, some of it is bushwhacking. But, and I'm down here because of the King Philip cache. It came out this morning. Came down to try to get a first to find. But, Black Cats 3 already got it. And Jerry Gons, lost from New York, was there when I got it. So I was third to find on that one. And I got to meet Jerry. It's the first time I've met him. He's the one that's he's hidden over 500 caches now. And he just cashed his 5,000th cache last week. So he's, he's into it. He's been doing it a while. But I got to meet him. He was just barely leaving the cache. He's about 20 feet away from it, if that. So it's pretty cool. Okay, now I don't know if I'm on the right road. This is still what they call Bald Mountain Road on the map. <laughs> they don't show the gate where I had to park, for one thing. But it still goes way up almost to the Vermont border and ends. But there's also a road one along down by the river, the stream. And I don't know if that's the one we're supposed to go on or this one. But we'll find out. Uh, before we came here, we did the chase the first to find King Philip, and then we went down uh, up Bennett Road, and then out Old Vernon Road for the three caches out there at Hell's Kitchen, Devil's Brew, and into Hell's Kitchen. Three of them there. We grabbed those three and then drove up just to check out Satan's Forest. I'm gonna go out and get them all at once at another time. I didn't want to do that hiking these three on this road, the one I already got in the next two and especially the Guilford Southeast Corner one is very important for me to get them out of the way now because that's all I got left in down this section in Vermont and then power to the people and that's the only one I haven't been out to in this whole area all the way to Whitingham so I only got one other one, two other ones I can't find yet they're missing Well. Wait a minute, we gotta go back. This way. Talking, I went by it, not paying attention. It's point one back this way. I know, I could get it on the way back, but that's not the way I am. I'd rather get it now. Just in case I can't find it, then I can look for it again on the way back. But this one should be here. Walked right by it. Running my gums, chewing my gums. This one's called Bullwinkle's Backyard. So if we be quiet, we might see a moose out here in the swamp. Showing 160 off the trail. We got a bushwhack to this one. I didn't see any trail anyway. <clears throat> Did I miss a trail? Oh, we'll find it down here, Taya. Let's go right down over here. When you 
got an arrow to follow, you don't need a trail. That's the first thing you gotta learn in this game. Whoa! Oh, that freaked me out. <laughs> Startled. Huh. Take a look out for Bullwinkle again first. Cash appears to be up here in the bank. Seventy feet this way. I think it's going to be on the furthest tree on the point, furthest one out toward the water on dry land. That's my guess. Hey, get up out of that stuff, please. Oh my God. That's like the stinkiest stuff you can go in. That's where she just was. Hmm. No, tell ya, up here. Nice little spot. Anyway, here's what we got the log in here. It's pretty dry. Actually, it looks wet. Yeah, it is a little wet, but it's we might replace it. We'll check it out. No, this, that part's of it's dry. And then we a little card. Light battery's dead. Dinosaur. Keychain. Little army man. If you say amethyst. You know, there's trinkets like that, magnet, exterminating company magnet, refrigerator magnet. Okay, we're back on the trail. The next one is called Pretty Pooch Pond. And it's point six miles from here. Well, not from here, but from where we came back on the trail. Um, and then that's the last one until we head over from there which like I say I think is a bushwhack to the southeast corner of Guilford boundary marker and I think I got all of them oh yeah yeah the other one's down yeah when I went up through Halifax I got that one and the four corner one at Marlboro, Bradbury, Guilford and Halifax I was standing in one, all four towns at the same time. You can check the video below. It's pretty cool. Huh. You know how you look at the roads on the map? The road's going north. So you call it up. Well, this one's going north. It's also going up. The whole thing's been up so far. Whew. It's up. So I'd let you know that. Whew. Just come around this little corner, right? I couldn't see ahead of me. Past from Tez. So I was hoping, okay. Then you go up around this corner, it levels off. Look at that. Heads up even more. Well, we're 130 feet from the pond, right up here to our left. 
a baby porcupine right in the middle of the road down there. I tell you, I almost got it. I had to keep yelling at her to get back from it. You know, of course, curious, she's gonna go nudge it. Whew, luckily I kept her from it. No quills in the face this time. But, man, it was close. Very close. It's a good thing I saw it before her. Huh. I don't see no pond. Some kind of building up here. I don't see no pond. Oh, what's down here on the right? Oh yeah, there it is. There's Pooch Pond. There's even a raft out there. Posted though, private property. Shooting area. Oh, nice little pond. Pooch Pond. You going in Pooch Pond? 20 feet this way. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for yet. I didn't look at the hint or the cash size or anything. Huh. I don't spot it anywhere real quick. I'm 20 feet away now, past it. Um, huh. Well, it's 1.20 p.m. now. I finally found it. Um, I gotta get Taya in that too. She's got horse flies keep bothering her. <clears throat> I looked at the logs and I knew I was in trouble. I ain't been found since 2012, which is over two years. I think it was June 2012. It's now July 2014. And the last person said difficult find. And another one says I'm surprised I found it. But uh so I knew I was in trouble and it is a micro. So with no hint of it the only thing I kept relying on was one of the posts about four posts back says coordinates are right on the money, are right on. So I knew it was close to this ground zero. And you got this darn stump, so I finally got my flashlight out and shined it way down inside there. Nothing in there, and I'm thinking, well, it's probably on the ground, it probably fell. Well, hey, get back. All of a sudden, look what I find here. I haven't even touched it yet, that's just how I found it. Evidently, he had it rigged up. So it was hanging from a branch. Hanging down from a branch somewhere. So I'm going to have to rig it back up for him. But I found it anyway. Good job. Found it on the ground. It's always a good job when you find one that's down. And I'm pretty stubborn, so I weren't leaving yet. Good job. 
Yeah, the log's just a globa, even though it's in plastic. Look at that. See the log? Watch that tail. See the it's just a glob of wet. So I'm gonna replace the log. I'll dry the inside of this out. It's full of water. Put a nice dry log in there and uh, set it back up right here around ground zero somewhere. So that's what I gotta do. Looks like the animal, the animal bit the lid. See the little hole there in it? So I've taped that up. I don't have a replacement lid for this type of vial. And I don't even have another micro cache, but I wouldn't want to change the micro cache because that's all roped up and that's still all good. I'm just going to hang it. And this will hold on this anyway. So and I'm going to put a dry log in there. So, and then this one will be all set to go. And then we're going to head out to the southeast corner. I'm going to see how far it is from here. So, okay, she's all roped up. Right there. Hanging down there like that. And those leaves will help keep the rain off out of the top from running in the top. Even though I fixed that. See, these leaves will keep the rain from running right in it. See? She's all set to go. You'll see the string from this side. Whoa! Thorns. Ouch! Ouch! You going in Pooch Pond for a quick dip before we go? Can you get in from here? Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't call it Pooch Pond for nothing. Okay, the Guilford Southeast Corner, they're showing 0.53 miles, so it's a half a mile and then a half a mile back and I believe we have to come from there right back to here and then down again too. I don't think I'm going to bushwhack if I don't have to even though it's like a triangle. I could bushwhack and make it shorter back to the car from there but I'm not going to. If we can see on road I'm gonna... Well that's where we're headed. I think there's some directions on like when we come to a field do this or do that or something. Well, I'll take you there when we go. I just switched batteries, so I don't know how much time I got left on this one. This one's not even showing a full battery. They're old. Can only be charged so many times. Yeah, this hasn't been bad so far. We just come through a field. Big open field back into the woods here, an old logging road. It looks like things are going through here enough to keep it from growing up and taking over. So, if it stays like this the rest of the way, it won't be bad. We're point three now away, but oh, looks like it's getting thicker up there. I had to open my mouth. See, this is where you send your buddies first to knock down the cobwebs. You know, let them go first, you walk behind them. Even though it's hard for me to walk behind people because I'm... Ow! Oh! Turned my ankle. Son of a gun. See, because I've got shoes on. I usually walk barefoot, hike barefoot, but I've got these stupid shoes on. They're actually cross-country running shoes, but the... The soles... You can flop your foot. Anyway. I guess that's what I get for trying to... Notice that happened this, right when I was saying about putting my hiking buddy in front of me and trick him to knock down all the cobwebs. Whoa, who got there? Another tree stand. Homemade tree stand. Should check it out. There's one up on the edge of the field too. There's a shooting range up there. There's some serious deer hunters out here. That right there is a permanent blind, built like an ice shanty. The one on the edge of the field up there was like a... Like a... Uh, look at the quartz in there. Huh? Interesting looking rock. Um, the one up there is made of canvas. Like 
Should run into some should run into some berries up here too today. Keep an eye out for them, but you also you gotta watch where there's berries, there's bears. That's also their favorite food. So you, know, you always gotta be aware, especially when you when you're in thick like this, this is where you gotta worry because that's when you startle a bear and that's when Whoa! Ow! Ouch! Our point two now and it's still heading this way starting to cheat towards the west because it does say once you come down here at the end of where it's logging and look for the blue markers on the trees which is the town line and follow that west to your arrow and you'll find the cache definition of the end of the logging area is well I should see the blue blue paint on the things anyway I'll just head over with my arrow anyway once it starts heading that way too much I'm not going to keep walking this way if it's pointing me that way you know I don't want to go through that thick stuff though you guys keep an eye out for blue paint on the trees Give me a holler if you see it, because I don't want to go buy it. Anybody see it yet? Ouch. Oop, some markers down here. Red and white. Hmm, let's see what this is. The shooting area, the shooting range up here where they got the blinds. I wonder if this is a property marker. Yeah, Vermont State Lands. Oh, not line. That might be a state marker there. Orange, two orange dots, and a white. That's probably. Huh. If that's a state line for Vermont, it must go to the Guilford line, too. Oh, yeah, there's the blue, too, with it. No? Now I'm seeing things. But my arrow's telling me this way anyway, but I left the trail. I don't want to do that unless I have to. I'm not chasing orange. But it's obviously the line. Yeah, I can see it going way down there. I'm going to go back here and see how far the trail is now. I don't want to leave the trail unless I have to. Yeah, oh, the trail still heads right down this way. understand though how that could be the state line if there's no town line with it because the state line would be a town line also so it don't, seems weird that that's the orange state line which I'm not sure of I'm just assuming that I like to assume things but I know the town line's blue because it says it in the description yeah, Vermont state lands wheeled off-road vehicles prohibited no ATVs no SUVs and no motorcycles. Okay, we just went to point one now, so we're here. That's cool. Trail all the way. Nice. Nice. Beautiful hike. And this is kind of where the trail ends, too. So I'll know to follow the orange back here to the trail. Also. Yeah, see my arrow's pointing me straight this way too. Oh, well, looks like the trail goes down around this little cliff like thing. Well, I can run down around here.
Yeah, we're about 380 feet away now, and I still don't see any blue lines, blue markings. And I, all the other corners, Guilford had blue paint, and even in this description it says blue paint. I wonder if they've changed it to the orange. I don't know, but anyway, this one hasn't been found since May of 2012 either, which is over two years. And it's a micro, no hint. Can you hear how close to the highway I am? Interstate 91. You can hear the trucks zooming by. Oh, we gotta go down there. Wow. I should almost be able to see it from here. We're 200 feet away. <laughs> Figure it's gonna go down. Yeah, I see some orange down there. Because anytime you go down, if you're not making a round trip, it only means one thing. You've got to come back up. And this is slippery. It's all wet. Be careful, Kay. Go easy. 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 getting there. We're getting there. I should spot the marker here pretty soon unless it's knocked over like one of the other ones were. One of them was completely missing. It had a pile of rocks where it was, but then someone knocked the pile of rocks down too, so you couldn't even really tell. I mean, you could because you knew, I knew what I was looking for, but if I was just hiking around or something and saw that, I wouldn't know that's what it was. They weren't even piled up. Someone knocked them over, the losers. Okay, I should spot it over this knoll right here. 110 feet. Huh, I lost my... Huh, my arrow's telling me way over that way. But the orange is over that way. Well, I gotta leave the orange and follow my arrow. Sorry, orange. Bye-bye. I'm probably going to be back up the hill I just came down. Oh, there it is right there. I got it. Is there cash in here anywhere? Be a nice place for it. There she be. Here's the marker. Huh. I don't see it. It weren't like his other one. His other one was... Well, I won't tell you, but... It's not where his other one was. But I doubt someone muggled it here. Well, <clears throat> I've been looking around for 10 minutes or so. One of them, we had it tucked right in the side of the marker. It weren't there. I moved some re leaves around these rocks. Been probably, probably 15 minutes, maybe. Maybe 10. Looking around, all of a sudden I look up. Well, there she be. Hanging from the tree. Yee, 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 I see thee. Just give you an idea, there's the marker straight up above it. <laughs> right there, you gotta look up on this one to see it. What time we get here? 2.15, 2.17, so 2.17 p.m. Not bad, not bad hike either. A lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Another horse fly on Taya's face, I don't like that. 
Okay, we're gonna head out of here. And I'm gonna get some lunch somewhere. And I got one cache over in Leiden. We're gonna go home through Leiden. One cache out in the middle of nowhere. Not as far as in the woods, but as far as caches around it. It's right off the road, a short hike, so I'm gonna grab that on the way home. Whew! Whew! Okay. We're back up on the edge of the field. And I say back up because it was up all the way. We go across the field, we finally get to go down to the car. Whew! We went down to this, but now I had to come back up. And the last thing I want to hear right now is gunshots. Because we're right down, down range of the tar targets. They're right up here. The road we come on is over by them spruce trees over there. Over that way. It's also where the stage is for shooting. Targets down here in the middle of the field. Yeah, deer blinds over here on this side. And we came in that corner way down there. There's another stand right there. I know you can't see it. There's another logging road that goes out right there. So they got a stand right there, a tent, canvas type one. And you know what? They probably got them all around this field in strategic places. Why not? See, there's a target shooting thing. Facing down that way. We were pretty safe. We were way over there. Target's down there. You shoot from here. Well, that battery just went dead too, so I'm out of batteries now. I shut it off, so it let me turn it back on, but it'll shut off again quick. But uh, I'm just letting you know we're on our way downhill now. It's all downhill from here. It's about I don't know, point seven miles probably to the car. Whoa, there's my ankle again. Um, and I'll leave that at this for now, and I'll. See if I got a battery left and we get at the last cache of the Well, it's three o'clock PM. There's the gate. We just got back to the car. Dad's enjoying a nice first take of water. Ah. Uh, three o'clock, not bad. Good little hike. No bushwhacking, that was cool. A little bit at the end, but it's not really bushwhacking because it's easy. No branches and thick stuff in your way. Well, it's 3.35, we stopped in Northfield, where Berniston had a little snack. Now we got a .2 mile walk up the hill to the Leiden WMA View cache, and then we're done for today. So here we are at the Wildlife Leiden Wildlife Management Area, and we're headed out. We're up here at the cache, Leiden Lookout cache. There's the view. Oh, I should have put it on telephoto. What a dummy. That's out down to the south. I don't know what it is, though. There's not much of a view over here. Everything's grown up. And it's just woods behind us. That's the way we came right there. I'll do it again, telephoto. If A neat little geo coin in this one. Can't show you the number, but it's a copy of a quarter. So it's a geo coin. It says heads I win, flip for it, tails you lose, and the numbers on the back trackable. So I picked up a geo coin, geo coin trackable. So I'm gonna leave something here too. I'm gonna leave a couple wristbands and and a geo coin. Not sure what one yet, but I'll. When we 
you the lighthouse geocoin. Wanted to go to the coast, but I don't think I'm going to be going to the coast anytime soon, so I might as well leave it here. That's what I'm going to leave. Usually, if I pick up a geocoin, I'll leave a geocoin if I have one. Instead of like a travel bug like these, it's a travel bug, it's got the travel tag. So I'm going to leave this and then we're headed back to the car. Yep, we got it. We're all done. We made it back to the car. We're on Weatherhead Hollow Road, heading back towards Guilford Center. So that'll conclude the trip today. It's 4, 10 after 4 right now, p.m. So, not a bad day. We got everything. Found a couple that ain't been found in a couple years. One of them on the ground, so that was real good. Good job, hunt there. Whoa.